Hello everybody, I'm Stefan and in this old bonsai video I'm going to give this horn beam pre-bonsai a hard pruning to get it back in shape and especially for developing a new leader here which isn't working yet for me. Before starting we will have a look at the overall structure of the horn beam to see what has developed up until this point and why it needs a hard pruning. So starting from the bottom we have the beginnings of yeah, a nice root system some big roots here that I can see at the moment and another one developing here but actually I don't have anything on this side and this other side. Next if we go up a bit into the structure we have this big cut point here which is actually the first hard pruning that I applied to it in the hope that some new leader would develop. Unfortunately it didn't quite go as planned because while a new leader did develop it very quickly thickened up so I ended up with this portion of the trunk here which is pretty much lacking any kind of taper. If we go up this branch you will see that I applied the second hard pruning here in the hope that a new nicer leader would develop but instead I got this mess over here with yeah this that took up as a new leader but it just grew sideways somehow and nothing really growing upwards. So my plan for today is prune it back to this point in the hope that maybe something will bud back here. Probably something could appear from this old bud point here. So let's see. The first order of business is apply a big cut here and for this I want to use my big loppers and if this doesn't work then I will cut it back with a saw. So let's see how it does. We'll go down to this point here and off with its head. Yeah, quite a big cut. Here's another look at this cut point. While it's not the best looking cut ever, this bark here is kind of split away. I'm still a good distance away from this butt, potential butt point and if something should come up from this point it shouldn't be affected by the cut. Next I'm looking at this branch here which up to this point has gotten just way too thick so I'm planning to cut it back to here first and then I will prune this other branch. So from here on I will remove all the branches that are pointing towards the inside. I think this one too is just growing in backwards. There is a lower branch here that might develop as a new replacement branch for this one so I think I will leave it alone for now and then I will just leave this stump here with a bud facing the direction I want it to grow to, so like this. This one could be growing this way, so I will cut it right next to the bud and I will remove this tip almost completely to the last bud thing here. Going a bit lower here, we have another branch here which yeah, I'm just going to trim back maybe to this bud here which could take away with a new branch this way. So yeah, at this moment I'm not aiming for a final branch structure, just choosing potential branches that could form the end branch structure. And with this one I'm just going to go back to this point here. These two here I don't like because they're just going towards the ground, so I will remove them. Okay, and with this one I want to encourage it to grow upwards a bit, so I'm going to keep this butt here and just prune it away after the butt. And now we're left with this branch here, which I'm just going to cut at this point. So as I said, I'm not aiming for a final branch structure at this point. My main goal is to develop a new leader from here, and that's one of the main reasons why I hard pruned all the branches so that I cut all the vigor back from all the branches and maybe get more growth vigor here on the top point. If you have any suggestions on growing horn beams as bonsais, 
I would like to hear them, so please leave me a comment in the section down below. Also, if you found this video useful, please let me know by giving a thumbs up. This was all for today, thank you for watching and see you in the next Odd Bonsai video.